Welcome to today's webinar, AP Automation in 5 Easy Steps. Today we're talking about step 3, which is reconcile. Did you know that the average time to process an invoice goes from more than 11 days to less than 4 when companies use automated workflow tools to drive AP? Let's dive into how you can make that happen at your organization. As you know, we've boiled AP Automation down to just five simple steps, and in today's session we're going to talk about just the third step, and I'll share an example of a real customer who's using ECM technology to support automated invoice reconciliation in their organization. And then as Sean mentioned, you'll also hear from Paul Owens, our senior sales engineer, and Paul's going to give you a brief demo of the software so that you can see how it works, and so you'll know what to look for as you consider the various options. We covered the first and second steps, scanning and indexing previously, and if you missed those live webinars, you can grab those sessions on our website at www.digitechsystems.com. And then over the next couple of weeks, we'll have additional webinars to cover the information relevant to the other two steps, so keep your eyes open for those email invitations. So let's quickly refer, review the first two steps of the AP automation journey, and then we'll jump into reconciliation. Step one, in moving from paper-based invoicing, to automated AP is to convert those invoices that you're still receiving on paper into digital files that are more secure and easier to work with. And you'll do so by scanning the paper documents into digital files. Once they're digital, they then benefit from the same automatic security, retention, and routing as their electronic counterparts. Now that you've gotten rid of your paper invoices, you've got a bunch of digital invoice files. So what do you do with them? Well, step two is to index the new digital invoices so you can find them again using keyword search. Eliminating manual effort here is key, so you know to look for software options that include the ability to automatically identify and classify invoices by type, and that will electronically extract the critical information off the invoices, so that you don't have to hand key anything. So now we have scanned images of our paper invoices that have been tagged with index information, so we can find, easily find them again. What's next? Well, step three in our automated AP process is to reconcile invoices against supporting documentation. Once received, invoices are typically compared to purchase orders and goods received records to cross-check line items and totals, and this process is known as a three-way match. It's a critical step in invoice processing because it is so important to validate invoice accuracy before cutting a check. Document management applications allow AP clerks and accountants to view documents side by side to verify purchase order, invoice, and delivery information, satisfying three-way match requirements. Best of all, identifying index values makes searching for related documents painless and quick. So what should you look for in your reconciliation capabilities? Well, two things are important here, and that is the ability to view multiple documents side by side and to integrate the document management application with other line of business applications, such as inventory management and accounting software, so you can run a single search for all related information from multiple systems that returns records and information into a single interface for comparison. So let's talk about how this works in the real world. Since 1915, Commercial Metals Company has manufactured, recycled, and marketed steel and metal products worldwide. They are a $7 billion enterprise with 120 facilities in more than 12 countries. Tasked with centralizing AP processes across the company's 40 U.S.-based recycling yards, Alberto Centeno quickly realized the only way to effectively reconcile purchase orders, invoices, and shipping receipts in this distributed model was to move to digital processes. Supporting documentation was so hard to find in the existing paper-based system that on a bad month, it took maintenance supervisors at each yard almost 200 hours to process just 250 purchase orders. They implemented a cloud-based document management service for electronic invoices called Image Silo, and then chose PaperVision Enterprise Workflow to automatically route digital invoices through reconciliation and approval processes. Their business benefits are pretty impressive. CMC reduced the time it takes to complete three-way match for each purchase order by 33%, saving each yard 125 hours monthly. 
And if you do the math, that's a total productivity gain of around 60,000 hours every year for CMC. The ability of the system to automatically flag duplicate invoices is also saving the company more than a million dollars annually. And they've reduced their cost per invoice processed, which saves the company more than $2.6 million annually. So at this point, I'm going to turn things over to Paul so that you can see how reconciliation technologies work. Okay, we're going to step back to the last session that we had and show you that screen where we have taken the data from this piece of paper and populated it over here so we could actually see all of the index values that had been extracted by the process uh, initially. So all of this data is now in our capture software. Uh, what we want to do now is compare this data to the data that is in the line of business in the purchase order. So we'll go ahead. Uh, so once again, you can see that we have the header information, a vendor name, invoice amount, invoice uh, date, but we also have all of the line item index data populated. So if we go from here and we go to our AP processing uh, step that Sean mentioned earlier, we will see that we have the image of the document with the zones where we extracted it. We have the actual data that we brought over here, and this data was actually brought in from the line of business accounting system. So you have multiple ways that you can now then do that match. So we can see here what the amount is on the invoice. We can see here the amount that we read and populated, and here's the amount that was actually on the PO. Now then, if that is all you want to verify, we can just hit approve and it will stamp it and move it on to the next document. Now then, if you want to go to a different and more detailed level of approval, you can actually group these documents together. So for example, I've got uh, two and two, and you can see I can pull them together down here and look at them side by side. Now, this makes the operator physically verify that they're looking at it and going through the list and putting these documents to be grouped and that way the audit trail will show who did this and that it did match. So now that I can go ahead and approve that one. And then I could go to the next one. You'll see it's 2727, 1579. Now there's a problem here because my invoice is for more than my purchase order shows. So I don't want to approve this one. So this one I'm going to reject. And when I reject, I can choose from a, a user-defined list. This is a mismatch, uh, a vendor problem, needs review, could be any number of things. Uh, let's just say that it needs review. Uh, could be a PO invoice mismatch, and we reject that one, and it will take us on to our next one. And you can see this one is $2,300, $2,300, and we can approve that. Now, once we've gone through and approved all of the invoices, 1337, uh, we can submit this to the next step. Yep, I'm good. Everything is done, and we will then go on, submit this complete. It would go on to our next batch of documents to process. It's just that easy. John? So, Paul, a couple of questions. Uh, one of the questions was, you know, how hard is it to integrate with the existing accounting package? Um, and I think I can take that one. Uh, we've made it actually simple over here. We provide a uh, kind of a point-and-click UI that allows you to connect to the back-end uh, database uh, as long as it's a SQL table. So if your accounting package runs on SQL uh, through this point-and-click UI, uh, we can connect the two systems so that we're able to pull in the purchase order data for that matching. So Paul, another question is, um, what, if we, what if everything matches up? Can it just move on in the process? Uh, it absolutely can be done to do that, but then I wouldn't have had anything to show you. <laughs> I, I understand. So just to, just to be clear for the folks on the presentation, if you only want to deal with invoices that may be a mismatch or incorrect, the system can be configured so that when an invoice comes in, if it matches, it just goes on in the process and is not presented to an operator. Well, that's all the questions we had for today. Again, this is recorded, so we will place this out at our website at www.digitechsystems.com. Uh, you will be seeing email invites for the next step in our, our steps to automating AP. 
want to thank you guys again for taking some time out and have a great rest of your week.